you know, what uh, what this industry has been asking for and what they need is certainty. Um, uh, certainty on the horse racing side, certainty on the agriculture side, certainty within uh, rural Ontario. Uh, and, of course, the breeding side. The only thing that today's announcement has bred is more uncertainty in rural Ontario when it comes to the future of horse racing. I've heard, we heard, no concrete numbers attached to uh, the future of the industry in terms of supporting its uh, uh, revitalization or its modernization. We've heard integration with the OLG that we know has been on a plan to expand private casinos in this province. So uh, I don't understand how this plan can work uh, to, to put it, infuse some certainty into the into the industry, uh, and again today I think is just more platitudes for rural Ontario. Are you surprised to see them backing away from the language on subsidy? You know, now last year was a terrible subsidy we couldn't afford. Now it's you know transition funding for an industry that needs help. My, well, yeah, I am surprised that they're they're backing away. They've taken such a hard line approach. In fact, uh, for the last year and a half, it has been the stick approach when it came to those in the horse racing industry. This morning, we saw the premier feed uh, uh, some carrots to the horses. So apparently, they're trying the carrot approach. I don't think it's going to work in rural Ontario, and I don't think it's going to work for the future of horse racing. Russ, I don't understand why you guys want to subsidize an industry. Why do you want to subsidize this? The slots at racetrack program was never a subsidy in the first place. It was a partnership that was developed to, to uh, help that industry sustain itself in uh, in competition with an expanding provincial mandate on casinos. That's what it was. Never did you ever see line item on a provincial budget that allocated money to the slots at racetrack program. It was discretionary, disposable income that came through the slots that were housed at racetracks in this province through a partnership agreement that benefited the slots, or benefited the municipalities, it benefited the race, uh, uh, the horse racing industry, and it benefited the, uh, the, the horse track as well. They've thrown that all away. It was a model that was sustainable. It could have certainly been tweaked. Those in the industry understand that there could have been some modernization. There could have been some uh, some areas where we could find efficiencies. They did not have to blow the entire thing up, uh, infuse so much uncertainty into into the industry, and uh, throw farmers and families and rural Ontarians uh, under the bus. So the amount of money they were getting was too much. Then. No. Well, according to the government, uh, all of it was too much. They, to you, they to you, was it, was it too, was $345 to us, too much? The value of those jobs in rural Ontario that were attached to the slots at racetrack program were uh, something that uh, we should, the government should have taken a real look at before they pulled the rug out from underneath them. In fact, uh, up until the day they announced the removal of the slots at racetrack program, they were continuing to tell the industry to, to breed, to, to uh, invest, to continue to work uh, to develop their products. No matter, no measure of, uh, of hesitation in terms of their partnership with the industry. All of a sudden they pull the rug out from underneath them uh, because you know, the, the, the province is in dire financial straits. How do, you, how do you choose one industry against another? Obviously we see they're picking private casinos over rural Ontarians. Do you think that integrating it with like, the horses into modernization will help address that issue though? No, no, absolutely not at this point. I think uh, the OLG is focused on a mandate to privatize uh, casinos in the province, and that is in direct competition with those in the horse racing industry. That's why we're in this position at, at all. Uh, so if, there, if the OLG is going to continue to push private casinos on communities that don't want them and remove uh, gaming products from communities that need them, we are going to be in a, a terrible scenario. Uh, in the very near future. Vraiment, nous avons entendu rien uh, de nouveau du, du premier ministre, Quel, rien qui va aider l'industrie, uh, uh, rien qui va aider, aider uh, les, les, les Ontariens qui vivent uh, ici dans, dans, uh, dans les circonscriptions rurales. Uh, on pourrait seulement dire que c'est une chance à, à, à Mme Wynne de uh, prendre des portraits à un hippodrome pour euh, essayer de convaincre des autres euh, des Ontariens qu'elle entend, qu'elle qu comprend euh, les industries euh, d'agriculture. Mais il y a quand même un engagement ici de réformer l'industrie, de, 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 de réinvestir, on ne sait pas combien encore. Mais... Certainement, a, on n'a pas des spécifiques euh, en termes de euh, combien d'argent ils sont, euh, vont, vont euh, ajouter à l'industrie, aider l'industrie. C'est quelque chose que ceux qui euh, ont besoin, qui vivent, euh, qui gagnent leur, euh, leur, euh, leur, euh, 
leur salaire euh, ont besoin d'être certains qu'il va y avoir une industrie là pour eux euh, de, de continuer à travailler. On parle de 400 normes de principe qui ont été conclues. Il y en avait déjà deux. Euh, C'est quand même sur le bon chemin, selon vous? Ça, ça certainement aide aux courses de cheval. Ça aide aux, aux hippodromes, mais s'il n'y a pas de spécifique à comment ça va aider ceux et celles qui travaillent directement dans les courses de cheval. Comment vous expliquez le changement de ton entre l'ancien gouvernement Meghetti et le nouveau gouvernement Wynne? Je pense qu'elle comprend, euh, au moins elle comprend que c'est une, une industrie qui est euh, importante, hein, mais cependant, euh, le dommage est déjà fait. Et euh, je pense qu'elle essaye de contrôler ce dommage avec cet avancement. Et ça pourrait être parfaitement Non, non, je ne pense pas. Seulement, la seule chose qu'elle pourrait faire est de prendre une, immédiatement euh, de poser euh, l'expansion des, des euh, casinos privés dans l'Ontario euh, et de, de reconvenir d'essayer de, 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 euh, de, de trouver un autre euh, système d'aider aux ceux et ceux qui travaillent ici dans cette industrie. Combien d'argent le NPD serait à investir dans l'industrie des On dirait euh, toujours, l'NPD disait toujours euh, qu'on a besoin de prendre une pause sur l'expansion des casinos et de réévaluer euh, comment ça, 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 ce programme existe, euh, quels sont les bénéfices et euh, de donner le temps et l'espace à l'industrie de de, de, de se situer. Mais dans ce sens-là, c'est le gouvernement qui s'est penché sur la question. On a encore, euh, dès le 31 de mars, elle, ce gouvernement va enlever le Slots at Racetrack Program euh, qui encore donne euh, pas de sorte, euh, euh, ne donne pas de revenus euh, pour aider également aussi ceux et celles qui travaillent dans l'industrie. Merci beaucoup. Mon plaisir. Yeah, we can work with you. I'm going to take some of the